How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. They call me the Toaster and let's get right into today's episode. Today we are going to be getting some diamond armor. It's going to be a little bit random which one we end up getting, but let's roll that dice. So over here inside of these two, we have two fully grown villagers. There's one over here. So I need to make one of them a... Um, Whatever they become when you put down the blast furnace. So you see this one here became it. It's an armorer. Okay, no problem. So what I'm just going to do is I'm... I'm going to break his block. I'm going to break this one. You see he lost his job. Now he's just a regular villager. I'm going to put this one down and he's going to become the armorer. Perfect. And who's going to be the second one? I'm going to put it down. It's going to be this one here. So, same thing. It, yeah, I'm going to break this block and put it here. You see, he became the armorer. Perfect. So, I need to trade up with these villagers to get them to their max trades. And then that way, they will give me the diamond armor. So, this one is... So, this one over here, it costs 9 emeralds to get 1 iron chest plate and 15 coal to get 1 emerald. I don't have very much coal, so I want to see what this one is trading. He's also doing 9 emeralds for an iron chest plate. So I have no choice but to just spend the emeralds that I have. I guess I'll just start with this first one over here. You need to trade with him enough times to bring him up to the next one. You see uh, it went up to the apprentice. Let's see, now he's going to take 4 iron bars and give you an emerald or take 36 emeralds. Oh, that's kind of tough. I don't have that many iron bars left. And, oh, did I just switch out my... That's so funny because when you right-click on it, it actually goes... You see, I now put this iron chest plate on. Ooh, so this is a little tough. And then him, it's just one emerald for the boots. So he's going to be easier to, to rank up. Because he's only off... If I just give him one emerald, he's going to give me boots. So let me just take these out of my inventory real quick. These iron chest plates. And here I'm going to... Trade with him. Oh, did I use all of the emeralds already? Yeah, that's it. I need to go get more emeralds. So that's okay. I need to just trade sticks with these villagers. And I have plenty of sticks. So you gave me a really good idea to put a pressure plate right over here. So I'm definitely going to do that as well. Let's see. It's becoming nighttime. So I don't want to I don't want to chop down these trees in the night. I don't want anything to come and blow up my farm or nothing like that. But I guess if I'm going to be chopping down all that wood, then what I'm going to need is I'm going to need to clear out my inventory. But also, it I'll be able to make the pressure plate from that wood. So that kind of works out. Alright. So let's chop down all that wood. Oh, and I also need to grab this bamboo over here. And turn this all into sticks. So let's just... Here I'm going to type in sticks so that way I could just spam click this button. Clear this out over here. Oh, it looks like... Some more is coming in right now. Uh, I guess maybe I could just speed up the process if I just... Is, can I break this block? Yeah. There we go. I just grabbed it all. Perfect. Alright, so now I'm just going to put this back. Alright, so I have a ton of sticks from the bamboo farm. So what I'm going to go do now is just chop down... All of this wood over here and get a whole lot more sticks. So this farm, I mean, I'm, I'm going to get so many sticks. I hope, I mean, I hope I don't have to do all of this too many more times because this is a lot of trees to chop down. But you know what? That's classic Minecraft. If you love chopping down trees, you know what you got to do. You got to hit that like button. You got to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Alright, 
So this one I think might have been the tallest tree. So we're just going to try to get all the way up here. But it's kind of nice how you could just spiral up them and then just come down really quickly. I've always really liked that about these large trees. Imagine you had to find some way to get up to the top. It would take like two stacks of blocks just to get up so you can chop it all down. Maybe worth it to make a tree farm, to be honest, but we'll see what ends up happening. I need, before I'm able to make like pistons or redstone or anything like that, I need a ton of iron and a ton of wood. Oh, am I already maxed out my inventory? Oh, that's not good. I guess I could throw away this rotten flesh. And actually, yeah, I'm going to keep one in my inventory. That way, as I'm collecting it, I know if I'm going to fill up. All right. One down. So you know what? Maybe I'll just trade what I have. Trade what I have right now. See how many villagers I can lock the trade for. Oh, and look at that. The iron farm is working. Do you see that iron golem in the distance? I could open this up. There you go. All right, so let's start with these two right over here. Actually, you know what? No, these ones are hard to get the sticks from. So let's start with this one over here. Let's get all of this out. Yeah, that cleared out the sticks pretty fast. Here, I'm going to... Links. Oh, I accidentally made some acacia planks. I didn't mean to do that, but it was bound to happen eventually. <clears throat> so here I can make some more sticks. Oh, no, not literally give him sticks like that. <laughs> Alright, so he's fully locked. And I think he has a bit more sticks in there. Yeah, there we go. I just picked all that up. All right, that's good. So let's trade with this one. My inventory is kind of tight. I need to clean it up a little bit. Oh, but I can't be making... Oh, I had more acacia planks over here. I can't be making the sticks out of the acacia planks. Because that's just going to ruin everything. So let's trade with this one over here. All right, that one locked it up. And I think that I do have some more sticks over here. We'll close that. Close that one. And this one over here. Alright, so I was able to get 50 emeralds. So if I trade with him... Oh, I don't get very many. I guess I would just got to do more trading. Look how many iron chest plates I'm going to get. I'm going to get so much iron just because when I when I smelt them all down, I'm going to get one little nugget. Oh, look, I have one more planks that I can make sticks out of. So I, I was on the third one. Yeah, okay. All right, it looks like we got to chop down a little bit more wood, but that's okay. We have plenty more wood to get. So let's chop down the next one. Oh, and I'm also starting to collect all the drops here, which is nice. All right, tree number two. <clears throat> so what I was thinking about working on next as a project would be a... Oh, I messed this one up. Would be a cactus farm. Because then I would be able to, like... I'd be able to make a lot of bone meal. So then I would be able to farm a lot of uh, crops and then I could trade those crops with the villagers. I think so that so the reason why I want to do a cactus farm is because it'll also tie into like a villager farm. It'd be nice if I could automate something to trade with them. Kind of like the sticks, you know, but maybe something that works a little bit more efficiently because like the amount of sticks that I was farming, it was it really didn't like give me a whole lot of emeralds. I think I need something a bit more, more powerful. And I think the crops are a really good one. Because they'll take like 20 wheat or so. And then you could just keep on growing it with the bone meal. 
So let's see. I chopped down another tree. So let's see how many more trades I could do here. Did I finish with this one? No, this one's still open. So here I'm just going to make... A whole lot of sticks. And let's get this trade in. Alright, so this one's closed off. This one over here. Alright, he gave me a little bit. 25, and I need 9 at a time, right? Awesome. And now look at this. 7 emeralds, I'll be able to buy... So many of these boots. Well, 7 of them, to be exact. So I still do need a few more... I still do need a few more sticks. So let me go chop down another tree. And then I think I'll be in a really good position. Because once I lock out that other trade, I'll probably be able to move on to the next one. Alright. Lucky tree number three. Well, it's a good thing I ended up planting a whole lot of them, because now at least I don't have to wait any more time for them to grow. The problem is just that it's going to take me a long time to, like, chop down all of these trees. Unless I have, like, maybe an efficiency pick or an efficiency axe. But I do have efficiency 3 on this, so it should already be pretty fast. Almost at the top. Perfect. Alright, let's make our way back down. All right, so this was a decent tree. I think this will be enough to try to get me get that villager to unlock his last trade. Let me see if there's anything here on the floor I didn't forget to pick up. No, that looks okay. All right, very good. So yeah, so what I just got to do is make sticks. If I could just pick up, pick up this one. And just make a whole lot of sticks. And trade them with this one. Oh, 32 to 38? Okay, no. I'm going to trade with this one instead. Alright. And this one here. Let me buy out all these boots. Oh, perfect. This one, he's got the pants. So we're we're seeing a little bit of the diamond armor. It looks like, what else does he want to trade? Four emeralds for the chest. That's not so, that's not such a bad deal. I'll be able to get this one to the diamond pants, but I think this is a great place to end the video. If you liked it, please leave me a like, leave me a comment, tell me what you think, and hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate it. All right. Have an awesome day. Toaster out.